Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and we are going to have a series of videos that will actually focus on 11, Windows 11 22H2 that is coming this fall or if some of you have gone to the beta or release preview channel you might already be testing it right now. So this is going to be arriving this fall and we are going to have the series on changes and new features that they have implemented. So one of them that has changed. In Windows 10, of course, we know of a uh, option called Focus Assist. And Focus Assist is there to actually give you the potential of uh, telling your computer, for example, not to disturb you or give you notifications while you are gaming or working or at different times of day. Now, Focus Assist was moved to Windows 11 without pretty much no changes except that they had changed where it was located in the settings app. But in Windows 11 22H2, now they have changed the name and they changed it to Do Not Disturb, which is honestly for me the best name that tells you exactly what it is. Uh, Focus Assist, I don't know why they had chosen that. And if you remember, even in Windows 10, they had doubled at moving it from Focus Assist, Do Not Disturb, back to Focus Assist. Uh, so Do Not Disturb is the new name for Windows 11 22H2. And they've added one way to actually get it easily. When you go to your notifications panel on the right side of your screen, you'll notice that now there's an icon available on the upper right. And this is, of course, the uh, notification, the Do Not Disturb on-off switch. Also, when you go into your notification settings that are now located in the system settings into notifications, you will have, of course, the notifications. You'll have the Do Not Disturb switch on and off. You'll have the options with Do Not Disturb to choose which times and what you want as priority for these um, Do Not Disturb moments, so what apps might go through, which apps don't the times you can choose which time you want do not disturb to be on and so on so all of that is here but now they also added a easier way to find another feature which is also in the no notifications if you remember I did a video a few months back when the clock app included something new called focus sessions focus sessions lets you choose and actually add sessions and times for workflow. You can add, for example, okay, now I'm going to work for three hours. I'm going to give myself a 20 minute break and so on. So that was part of the clock app. It still is. The only thing is they have added a option that's available in the notifications in the settings panel. So on the bottom here, you see focus. If you click on it, it brings you to the focus sessions. It's going to tell you you want to start a focus session or not. Of course, the focus session is linked to the clock still. So those focus sessions can actually be used. And you're going to see here, this focus session was for 30 minutes. But you have all sorts of things that you can do. You can choose and write what you want to do during this focus sessions and so on. So, of course, you can stop it at any time. You can um, you know, have a break if you want, no breaks if you want. You can even have Spotify play music if you want during the focus uh, sessions, which is nice. So it's nice to have the options of the focus sessions here with all the different um, you know, settings that go with it for the uh, focus sessions that can you know, help with the workflow and uh, maybe help you have a better work day uh, by uh, actually giving you focus times or session times during which you can work and you know take pause and so on so all of that is now in the settings and of course the uh, this all goes with the new do not disturb option in Windows 11 22 h2 if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching